Hey everyone, Antonio here from nitroplanes.com. What I have today for you guys on this video is a how to solder video. Uh, I get tons of questions of how to change a connector, how to properly solder, what tips um, I have for them. And this video is mainly, it's a tip video and also showing you guys a how to video. Um, so uh, what I'm be doing is uh, using an, an ESC I got from one of our 1400 millimeter airfield models. Our Dynam also come with this uh, banana connector. Just all our models come with this banana connector. And if ever you guys do want to use maybe EC3s, uh, maybe Dean's plug, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. On today, I'm going to be using a Dean's plug that I got from my local hobby shop. And I'll be showing you guys how to change this banana connector to a Dean. So let's take a look behind and show you guys what you guys will need to get the job done. All right, so over here, uh, showing you guys a little bit of closer look. Uh, the first and main thing you are going to need is obviously your uh, soldering tool. I have here, I have a soldering station. I have here, so I got that. A nice uh, little thing to have also with your soldering iron to have a sponge uh, with some water. You can put it in a little cup, uh, whatever it is really you want to put it. Also have a little wire sponge in here. Uh, that's always good to clean off any bad residue that builds up from heat uh, on your soldering iron. Um, also, some a little heat shrink um, tubing is always good to have. Uh, I bought this here. You can get this at Harbor Freight, um, Home Depot, Radio Shack. It's just a wide assortment of heat shrinks. Some uh, 6040 uh, soldering I have here and I bought this at Radio Shack. Works great for me all the time. I do uh, know people that use flux on the side of that. I personally don't use flux, but uh, that's, I guess, a personal preference. Over here, I have a heat gun. Obviously, a heat gun uh, to shrink the heat tubing there. You could also use a lighter as long as you keep the, um, the heat moving. I have here some scissors, some wire strippers, a hobby knife, and some wire cutters. Also here, since I am gonna be showing you guys how to solder uh, you know, I'm gonna be using a Dean's that I got from my local hobby shop, how to solder that, and so I obviously have that. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to extend uh, your motor wires, uh, which I have my wire here. So, oh, also for, almost forgot to mention my helping hands. Um, in soldering, it's always good to have, the more hands you have, the better. So I got my helping hands here to help me out throughout the, uh, my soldering video. All right, so I moved a lot of the clutter out of the way. Uh, now that I explained everything uh, to you guys. So quickly, I'm gonna prep uh, these wires and uh, get everything I need here, like heat shrink tubing and all that. So uh, really quickly to cut these wires, you can use scissors, uh, you can use wire strippers, or you can use uh, wire cutters. All these three can be used to cut that. Uh, what I'm actually gonna be using today is scissors. A good, always try and practice safety, even on ESCs cut one wire at a time. Oh, come on, there we go. There we go, you got it off. Uh, you could unsolder this from the inside. It would just be even more of a headache to do. So what I like to do, since I got tons of wire, just cut them off, you know, didn't lose too much wire, uh, very little wire loss there. Also, I'm gonna get over my uh, three, my 3 sixteenths um, heat shrink I got here. So I'm gonna cut that. Uh, you don't need too much of that. Actual, let me show you guys about how much you need. That's pretty much all you need uh, to slide over these uh, Dean, uh, the Dean tabs uh, coming out. So I got that. So what I'm gonna do now is also, let me take the insulation off the wire. Uh, these wire pliers, the reason I'm, I'm not uh, using them or I mean wire strippers because this is actually the size way, they're actually, it's actually way, way too small. I actually lost my bigger one. So I'm gonna use the back end. Not applying too much pressure because I don't want to cut the wire. I just want to strip it, uh, the insulation off, so. You don't need too much wire exposed uh, with these Deans. I do notice the bullet plugs, you can actually go a bit more uh, than that, but this should be more than enough. And so now that I'm at it, I'm gonna slide over uh, the heat shrink, slide it all the way back. You want it as far back as the point from where you're soldering because a lot of heat builds up. So if this heat shrink, if I were to have it there, it has happened to me where it shrinks. So get it as far away as possible so it does not shrink on you because then you would have to unsolder and do it all over again. So there we go. So we got that. 
So now what we need to do is uh, desolder a little bit of those wires. So I'm gonna put this on my uh, helping hands. And you guys can see really uh, just why these come in handy. There it goes, has a nice firm grip on there. So we got our, let me clean. I'm gonna pre-tin the tip, adding some solder. And what we're looking for is to get that tip just the shiny, there you go, it's nice and shiny. That's really what we want. And then from there, just add a little bit of solder and we can move on. So, you can quickly see it getting all shiny and watery. Yeah, it's a good thing. It means it's, uh, the solder is actually melting. So, oh, there we go. You just slide it right off, you guys just saw. And then we pretend the tab just a little bit more. There we go. Till it forms just a little bit of a bubble. You come over to the other side, apply a little bit of solder there so you can speed up the process. And that one's off. So when using the same technique, put a little bit, there was solder already on there, but um, I like to pre tin it a little bit more. And we're pretty much now where you would be if you would have bought a new Deans from your hobby shop. Um, all you would have to do is pre tin it like I just did. So. We got that done. Now what we're gonna do, we're, I'm gonna put the wires on the other side of the helping hands and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to solder this. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is grab um, one at a time, the ESC wire, put it on one of my little helping hands here and I'm gonna show you guys how to pre-tin this. Occasionally, you guys wanna come back and always be cleaning your tip uh, just because the hotter, um, the, hot, the hotter it is, uh, the more corroded it gets at the tip and it starts changing colors and you don't have that shiny uh, look anymore. So you wanna keep it as shiny as possible. So always be going back and cleaning it on your sponge. Once again, a little bit of solder on our tip of our soldering iron. We put a little bit on the tip of the wire itself. We come in with the solder let that heat up. And once that gets hot, we will only be putting the solder on the wire itself. So you go about a little bit lower and there you go. Just put it all around. You don't want too much. There we go. That's about what you want to form. Once again, a little bit, a uh, little bubble. And that's about right. And we do the same for the other one. So I'm gonna come over here, get the red wire get the black one off. And it's the same exact procedure on the red. I'm gonna quickly do that since I already explained it on the other one, on the black wire. And that should be good enough. So, now that we got both of our wires pre tin uh, quick, uh, quick tip I wanna give you guys, uh, before soldering the wires onto this Deans, a good little thing I like to do is always put the opposing deans onto there before you solder the wire. And I'll explain what that does. Because, let me get it on. There we go. Because what that does, when we're soldering these tabs, they get really, 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 really hot. And obviously the deans are made out of plastic. This plastic can handle a lot of heat, but uh, these tabs might move while you're actually soldering since um, with the heat, the plastic becomes a little bit dull. So putting the opposite end of the Deans uh, really secures that your soldering tab isn't going to move and it's going to stay aligned. Uh, so when you go and plug the opposite end when you're ready to run or fly or whatever the case may be, your tabs just go slip right in and you know there's not much frustration, uh, frustration trying to get them in. So got that already. There we go. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and before we do any soldering, please identify Let me move this so the camera can get a little bit better. Um, please identify what is po which one's positive, which one's negative. It's clearly listed on the Dean's connector or actually printed on there, not really listed, but there's a little cross right there. Uh, maybe in the camera you can't see it, but I'll guarantee you in person, you'll be able to see it. And there's a little negative sign right there. So this is a positive, so I'm, I'm gonna do Grab my positive here with some pliers because once again, this does get very hot. Don't try and grab that with your hands. I'm gonna 
put a little bit of solder on my tip like I've showed you guys already. And we're gonna start by applying heat first to the tab itself. Once you see it melting, you slowly introduce the wire and you can move to transferring the heat to the top of that wire. And you'll quickly see when it's, the solder is melted. There it goes. You can move it and applying heat down. Also with uh, these pliers I have here. And when it dries, uh, it'll, when it's melt, when the solder is hot and melted, it will be a shiny look. And when it dries, it turns into a quick dull look. So I suggest blowing on it uh, for a few seconds, and um, you'll quickly see when it changes uh, to a nice duller look. Also, um, when soldering, you don't really want to think of the solder itself uh, making the connection. You want as much of the wire. Uh, grabbing as much of the uh, output tab of the Deans. That'll ensure a great connection all the time. So what I'm gonna do now is move my little helping hands and do the same for the black wire. And I'm gonna clean my soldering tip once again. Remember we want that as clean as possible, as shiny as possible to ensure there's a good uh, heat transfer. I'm gonna apply once again, a little bit of solder to the tip. There it is. It cooled down a little bit when I was cleaning the tip. Uh, so let me put that down. So grab the wire once again. So coming in and we're heating up uh, the output tab itself on the Deans and slowly introducing uh, the wire just like we I previously showed you guys. And once you get it somewhat hot, you can transfer that heat to the wire alone. And there we go. Press down as hard as you can to ensure that they're, that the wire is actually making contact uh, with the little tab on the Dean. So that's done. When I'm done soldering, I like to look at my solder, make sure it looks good. And to me, that looks great. I also physically check it. Physically, it's just as great, it's not gonna come off. So, um, I still uh, like to leave the opposite end of the Deans on. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, really quickly why. So what we do now, we introduce the heat shrink. Slide it right over. Oh. Oh, come on. There we go, it might give you a little bit of a hard time, but we slide that over. Um, also, before you slide that heat shrink over, please let the, let the wire cool down. Because it has happened to me where I'm done soldering, I introduce the heat shrink and it shrinks about halfway. I'm like, dang it, and I have to do it all over again. So please let it cool. So what I'm gonna do now is introduce the other heat shrink. There we go. Now we are ready to apply heat to this. Um, now the reason I said to leave the opposite end of the Deans on there is because once again, we're gonna be applying heat so this plastic uh, can become dull. So let me get that there. Let me hook up my heat gun and show you guys how to shrink that heat shrink. All right, so I got my uh, heat gun uh, hooked up and I'm gonna grab the wires like so, turn on my heat gun, let it warm up a little bit and it is ready to go. Always with the heat gun, please keep the heat moving. Don't let it sit in one area. Uh, same if you were using a lighter, keep the heat moving. And you can clearly see when it has uh, shrunken down to its maximum uh, size. You see it hugging the insulation and your soldering uh, tab really nicely. So that is done. And like I told you guys, uh, that's a simple way. Um, I, I use all the techniques I showed you guys and it works great for me all the time. I get tons of compliments all the time at the field. Uh, at this point, we can actually take off the opposite Deans and we can ensure that these have not uh, uh, moved at all uh, when this plastic was heated up or none of that. So it, they stayed aligned. A uh, nice job. Looks like it came from a factory. All right, everyone, that concludes today's video on how to solder. I hope you guys found my tips useful and my techniques useful. And I hope uh, you guys will be able to use those for your application to make your job a lot easier and soldering a lot more enjoyable. 
So as I mentioned uh, before in the video at the beginning, I will be doing a how to extend wires, for instance, motor wire or ESC wire uh, to motor wires, how to make those longer if they're a little bit too short, like in this case they are, um, you know, make that fit for your application. And I will be also showing you guys how to do a few other connectors, maybe like EC3s, Tamiya's and all that. Once again, please leave a comment below about what you guys thought about the video. Thanks for watching everyone. Till next time.